Hey guys, it's me, Tam here, and I'm back with another Custom Lego Star Wars Episode 9 set review. And this is based off of, once again, my script, which you've probably heard about if you've been watching my videos. And, yeah. So this is the TIE, First Order TIE Interceptor. And for this, the wings, you know, you can see, obviously, they're not, instead of being inward, they're outward. And... Got the black cockpit, not red canopy, because that would be special forces. But it has oh, dang, it has one seat in here. It has a bit of a outer thing, nice and long wings. Um, very large. It is very large. It's got spring-loaded shooters, and that is dang. It. Okay, that is the mechanism. And it is a bit of a complicated mechanism, but it still works. Um. I made sure it looks nice on all sides of the wings. And then also the little holders have those from the Posex wing. Here is it how it looks from the rear. And yeah, it's it's, it's heavy. And this would probably be like fifty dollars, maybe. Well, yeah, knowing like it would probably be seventy, but I think it would be sixty or fifty. Has five figures, as the pilot. And I might have not changed out the head yet. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. That's just an angry clone pilot. I decided to use the special forces one. Then we have a commander, or whatever. Yet uses Bruce Bane, Bruce um, Banner's head. Then we have, or no, that was a heavy. This is like a commander and that uses Obi Wan's head. And they both have the new helmet malt print. Then we have two of the Knights of Ren, and these are also in my script. First one is um, Jorki Tihei. That's what I named him. I think I went online and went to a random Star Wars name generator. Came out with this. And he uses Del's belt from the Inferno Squad Battle Pack, and also the Inferno Squad Battle Pack's legs. That's Rogue One Torso. He has this, um, an Electro Staff that's red. And he has... And he would be a, um, what is it? Um, he came in one of the Jack 14 Lego sets. Whenever Jack 14 was old, it was an Ithorian. Yeah, so he would have an Ithorian print, or mold. Because, yeah, we've only gotten it once in that Jack 14 Lego set that had the two cockpits in the escape pod. Then we have Nauta Kel Side Cobb, and she is a Twi'lek, and she would have black and dark gray designs. But you can see her here, she has an, um, a light whip, or an, I guess, um, yeah, you see. And yeah, so it's like a lightsaber, but it's like a whip at the same time. And yeah. And the reason why I put them together is because they're based off of the opening scene from the movie of my script. And so, yeah. Um, this is, yeah, once again, based off of my episode 9 script. Not based off of my own random speculations. But thanks for watching. And I will, oh dang, that's heavy and big. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.